Here's another example of how to do acid-base titrations and this example is specifically set up so you can see how when we have acids that produce a different quantity of the hydrogen atom, uh, hydrogen ion when they're placed in solution, uh, how that affects the way in which we try to neutralize this. Okay, so here we are asked how many milliliters of, of 1.42 molar uh, sodium hydroxide, and I guess the off, we don't need that, we can just go 1.42 molar sodium hydroxide is needed to neutralize 25 milliliter solutions of three different acids of different molarities, but notice that in each case this acid produces one hydrogen ion per molecule, this one produces two hydrogen ions per molecule, and this produces three hydrogen ions per molecule when placed in solution. So this will then illustrate how we deal with that. First of all, we want to start with the basic equation. The basic equation is that the molarity of either the acid or the base, let's just start with the molarity of the base, is equal to the molarity of the acid times the number of hydrogen ions, the number of hydrogen ions per molecule produced and the volume of the acid in question divided by the number of hydroxide ions produced times the volume of the base. Okay, now what are we looking for is how many milliliters of the base. So that means in our question here we're looking for the volume of the base. So to solve this equation for this quantity right here, we're going to take the volume of the base, move it up here, take the molarity of the base, and move it down here to end up with the equation that we need to solve this, this, uh, this problem. Okay, so when we move the volume of the base up, we get the volume of the base is equal to the molarity of the acid times the number of hydrogen ions produced per molecule times the volume of the acid. Notice again that all the information about the acid is together in the numerator and then we divide it by the remaining properties or the piece of information of the base. So in this case that would be the molarity of the base because we take the molarity of the base and put it down here. Molarity of the base and then multiply that times the number of hydroxide ions produced per molecule, and I guess I forgot the number there, number of. All right, there we go. Now we have the equation which will solve all three of these, A, B, and C. All we have to do is plug in the numbers and see what we get. So for part A, the volume of the base is equal to the molarity of the acid, which, where is it? Ah, there it is, 2.43, so 2.430 moles per liter times the number of hydrogen ions produced for hydrochloric acid is just one times the volume of, of the acid, which is 25 milliliters. Divide that by the molarity of the base, which is given to us as 1.420 moles per liter. And the number of hydroxide ions, of course, sodium hydroxide only produces one hydroxide ion, so that would be one right there. And so as the answer, we get 2.43 times 25 divided by 1.42 equals, and it's 42.78 milliliters is the answer for A. So 42.78 milliliters. All right, now we do the same for part B. The volume of the base is equal to, first we take the molarity of the acid, in this case the molarity of the acid is 4.5, so 4.500 moles per liter of solution, times the number of hydrogen ions that's produced per molecule. In this case, sulfuric acid produces two hydrogens, so we put a two there. And the solution is still 25 milliliters. They're all 25 milliliters divided by the molarity of the base, 1.420 moles, and only one hydroxide ion per atom of the base is produced. And so what we'll get here, we have 4.5 times two times 25 divided by 1.42 equals and we get 158.45 milliliters. All right, and now for the third one. In the third one, we have 
phosphoric acid, it produces three hydrogen ions per molecule, so the equation here becomes the volume of the base is equal to the molarity of the acid, which in this case is 1.5 moles per liter, times, here we place a 3, because we produce three hydrogen ions per molecule, times 25 milliliters, and the whole thing divided by 1.420 moles per liter for the base, that's the concentration, and only one hydroxide ion produced per molecule, and so we have 1.5 times 3 times 25 divided by 1.42, and we get 79.23, 79.23 milliliters of the base necessary to neutralize that particular acid. So, notice how the equation is affected by an acid or base that has more than one uh, ion produced per molecule, in this case for the acid 1, 2, and 3, for hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and phosphoric acid. And that's how you do that. So by now I think this should be pretty clear, and hopefully you can do your homework now on this topic.